Welcome to a special edition of Cutting Corners Behind the Scenes. This is Jim, I'm Jake. Today we're gonna to be talking about our water jet process and why we do it. A lot of people know us as a laser cutting operation, but we do use other cutting manufacturing techniques to cut different kinds of material. Yeah, um, a lot of material uh, works great for lasers. If the laser can vaporize the material and move it out of the way, it's amazing. But because of the wavelength of our fiber lasers, on some materials it has no effect at all or maybe it has an effect that we don't want, like uh, melting it or lighting the material on fire. Yeah. So yeah. that's when we switch over to router or water jet. Yeah, and so some materials like carbon fiber, phenolic, G10 are very abrasive. They don't handle very well on the router because it burns up bits. Yeah, it just chews up bits. And then other materials are toxic and stuff when they're cut with you know, lasers, so we have to cut them on these other operations. Yeah, water jet is actually a really safe way of manufacturing uh, a lot of materials because the water that's introduced into the cut and then the water bed that absorbs all the waste material um, keeps it out of the air. So it's much safer for our operators yeah. as well. Yeah. So let's dive over here into the water jet and kind of take you through how it works and then we'll run a program on it. Yeah, so. ultra, ultra high pressure water basically. Yeah. And we get that from the intensifier. So this is the engine essentially for this entire system. This is a variable frequency drive motor in here. This takes the pressure from your house pressure of 70 PSI and cranks it all the way up. And it's variable, right? So it allows us to change it to the material that we need. Yeah. And it allows us to run that way. Yeah, little ceramic pistons. That's it. You know, creating ultra high pressure. Yeah. So. From there, that high pressure comes up and comes through a whip that comes down into here. This is where we introduce the sand or the garnet um, into this system. Now, the garnet is actually what does the majority of the cutting. Yes. The water is creating that pathway, that erosion factor, but the garnet is doing the cutting. So we introduce it right here at the very, very end. This allows us not to have things plug up and fight it like that, right? Yeah, garnet doesn't like to travel very much. Uh, it's not the most fluid material in the world. Also, uh, garnet is damn near diamond hardness. Uh, so we wanna inject that at the very last moment so that we're not using up a bunch of consumables too. Because if you're running sand through a pipe constantly, that pipe is gonna wear through. Yeah. So it gets injected right at the end uh, into the high pressure water stream and then uh, into the part. Yeah. Inside this is a giant tank of water. And the reason why we have a giant tank of water is if that wasn't there, we'd be cutting holes through the floor, the bottom of the machine, we'd be digging a hole that's very, very deep. And so this essentially acts as a damper, slows that pressure down, and then essentially traps that garnet down in the very, very bottom, yeah. which takes us to the back of the machine back here now. This is a solid waste removal system. So as we are cutting, all that garnet's ending up in the tank. If we didn't have this, that garnet would fill up and then we'd have to empty out the water and yeah. get it pumped and all this kind of stuff. This essentially traps the garnet it's on a way that we can grab it with a forklift. We can go dump it, yeah. put it right back here, and we get back to cutting. One of the worst things about owning a water jet is the maintenance. They're exceedingly high maintenance. Um, if I didn't have to own water jets, I wouldn't. <laughs> uh, we love Omax. They're the best that we've ever had. Um, we've used a, a few other vendors. The Omax system is, is great. Um, but no matter what water jet you have, like Jake was saying, we're putting uh, about one pound per minute. Yeah of garnet into this tank and you have to remove it. The old way of doing it is with shovels uh, or with a huge septic pumper truck. We talked about getting one of those little mini backhoes at one I point. Know, I know, I kind of wanted the mini backhoe just so I could drive it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that was shot down by finance. <laughs> but with this system, it's a little easier to maintain. Uh, that being said, overall water jets though are ultra high maintenance. Um, because of the pressures involved and all the abrasives involved, there's always consumables that you're running through. So that's why if we can cut it on laser, we're gonna cut it on laser. Uh, water jet is kind of our last resort, I that's guess. That's exactly it. Yeah. So now let's jump back all the way to the front of the machine. Yeah, let's cut. And we'll go ahead and run a program here that's gonna just cut out a Senka Sen sign out of one of our carbon fiber sheets. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, cutting operation is done. Let's go ahead and clean the part off and then take it out. There we go. We have a Senka Sen out of carbon fiber. Nice. Yeah, a little desk, little desk ornament. Expensive, but strong. Yeah. So to get pricing on your parts, drag or drop that step file onto senkasen.com. 
Go check out the merch store. Yeah, available in hoodie or t-shirt, our Made in America. Made so, in America. Yeah. Thanks, Love guys. You. Love you, bye. bye.